Hey party people, welcome back to my channel. I look a little silly, but it's Luby here in Nebraska and even if it were nice, we wouldn't be out and about with people. So I'm trying to make a little glow up video for you. I put on a happy springy top that I'm loving and then last night I washed my hair and braided it while wet and then I slept in this because during this time, where we're not really going out and seeing anyone anyway, we might as well give our hair a break from the heat, from the coloring, everything. So I wanted to show you what it would look like to get kind of that textured wave crimped look that I've been doing with my waver, but all natural without heat. But first, before we get to styling the hair, I want to do a quick glowing natural springy look. We're gonna start with using body blur as the base. Next, we're gonna brighten the eye. Now, take your highlighter or any sort of light colored shimmer and press it into that concealer. Using that same fluffy brush with your blush, Tap off the excess, bring it into the crease. Next up, I'm using Saint Laurent or YSL All Hours Concealer. Why I'm using this as opposed to my tried and true shape tape is because I want to do a more natural, dewy, um, bronzed look today. So everything I'm going to do is going to stay dewy rather than matte. Woke Up Like This Lawless is a all clean brand sold at Sephora. I love her stuff. I would love to get to a point where all of my makeup is clean beauty. Oh, it smells good too. This, this is somewhat of a full coverage and feels so nice. As you can tell, it's more of that dewy finish. And of course, if you are wanting a matte look, you can still use this foundation and then just put a powder over it. Because I'm doing the more of a shimmer bronze look, I'm going to use Give Me Sun by MAC today as opposed to a matte bronzer with a fluffy, fluffy brush. Okay, now if you went a little overboard like I did, this side looks good, this side is a little much. I'm going to take that same foundation brush and with the excess, just blend. Much better. Smaller brush with a matte bronzer. I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Sole. Smells like chocolate. Just have a free hand hold toward the end of your brush and more so be in a flicking motion rather than trying to draw so rigidly right up here. No, no, none of that. Hold toward the end, flickety flick of the wrist. Then go ahead and go back to that highlighter. Make it narrow, bring it down the bridge of your nose and just at the end. And then I'll take my finger and go on the brow bone. Going back to that blush, just a little bit. We really did a lot of bronzer on the apple and pull out. 
going over the bridge of your nose, give that sun-kissed look. Marc Jacobs Pink of Me for the waterline. Brush through those brows. If you don't have very full and thick brows, you can go ahead and draw them on with a powder or a pencil. But I am digging the natural fluffy brow look, especially for this bronze springy glow. So I'm going to take my little spoolie that I broke. These are cheap though, you can order them. Get them at Sally's. With my hairspray, little trickety trick. I actually like this better than most brow gels because it just stays exactly where I put it if I use a hard hold hairspray. Little tricks of the trade. Going back to that blush and just placing it under the eye. It doesn't need to be perfect, that's why I'm actually using quite a large a large but skinny brush. I'm gonna drag it along the bottom lash line and blend it right into the top. I can't get over how silly my lips look, so I'm going to use MAC Cream Sheen Sunny Soleil on my lips. I want a little shimmer, obviously, since I'm using no matte things today. This is Unreal Cosmic Hourglass Gloss. Just placing it on the pout. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Surfer Girl Tarte. I like that I can be really precise with this brush. Before we move on to styling the hair, I finished the bronzy summertime glow. We got the little pink on the edge of the nose. Looks like I'm naturally sun-kissed even though we're inside. I'm using my Stay Spray by Tarte. Just to help it set, you know, because I'm going to be so busy today staying inside. Next up, we're going to take the pigtails out, brush through, and then I'm going to use some texturizing spray. I'm actually shook at how honestly perfect this looks. I'm really confused. So right now, if you guys go watch my, uh, I think it was like a week or two ago, I'm having a hard time keeping track of time in quarantine, but I did a waver crimp look and this is so close to what I was going for with that look. I love that the ends are straight as they would be if I put heat on it, it's pretty amazing. What in the world? I'm mind blown. And it smells good. <laughs> because I put it in while wet last night. So it's like my shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner are coming back out to play. Okay, I love how clean it's looking and just natural shiny. I was gonna do a texture spray, but I really don't think I even need to today. I can leave it like this today and then tomorrow I'll come back in with Undone Amika Dry Texture Spray. I'll put it in throughout the top. Maybe I'll do a half up look, but this is how you guys can get the natural summer waves, natural summer glow looking on the face. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure you follow me on Instagram at Sarah Rose Summers and on TikTok. Your girl is there too now. I'm trying to keep up with the kids.